morning. I wrap in with your morning flash update, and this update is for the morning of Friday with the 25th of August, 2023. Time right now about 8.13 a.m. Central Time. We have a stock market that's a bit higher today, but it could wobble. Why? At 9 o'clock this morning, Fed Chair Powell speaks at the Jackson Hole Symposium. He'll talk at that point. I can promise you I'll take no phone calls. I normally put out my spider ETF update right at that time. Nope, it's going to be delayed. I want to see what he has to say, uh, understand what he's saying, see how the market reacts, then I'll put out the spider update. I've already put out the futures one, and I'm putting this one out right now. But you have to understand, everything's going to go on what he says. My guess is he changes nothing. The Fed is going to have a live meeting in September. Each meeting is live. They're data dependent. While headline inflation has come down nicely, the sticky part, the hardest part, the low-hanging fruits are gone. Now it's all about the core inflation, and the core inflation refuses to give ground other than a tenth here, two tenths there, but that's all about that it is. Does the Fed want to speed that process up to get to 2% by raising interest rates? Do they want to sit back and pause and see how things gradually slope from the lag effect? That is what I'm hoping he talks about. As for ideas when the Fed will stop with the hikes, in other words, start cutting, no, that's probably not even on the table. Analysts will talk about that. They'll push it off into probably the second quarter of 2024, but you've got to get through where you're at right now. So for the moment, let's take a look. We're going to get the University of Michigan final consumer sentiment. Who's going to be even be looking at it? Nobody. Not at 9 o'clock. They'll be waiting for Powell. They'll look at it, but you understand what I'm saying. We then get him. This gets followed by the other major central banker, and there's plenty of them there. We're going to hear more interviews, by the way. At 3 o'clock, uh, we're going to get Christian Lagarde. We have there, we've got bankers, central bankers from everywhere, and our own Fed members. So it's a day of interviews. Uh, I'm watching right now as uh, Bloomberg's kicking off theirs, and they do a pretty good job with these interviews. You're going to get different ones. A lot of them will be unique and just centered to be at CNBC, uh, be it Bloomberg. I don't know if Fox will be there or not, to be honest with you. In the Eurozone, uh, we'll see also some other numbers coming up. But China, I want to re go here. China's mortgage rules are changing now across the country, but they're not mandatory. Uh, and what they're saying is, if you bought a home before, whether you have a current mortgage or you paid it off, if you're buying something else, okay, we'll treat it as a first mortgage. In other words, you won't have to pay the penalties that come about because you've used certain rules. Is that really going to prop up property? I don't think so. All right? I think it helps, don't get me wrong, but it's just not that hammer. Where they came down with the hammer in China negative is on Japan. Uh, Japan has gone out and they began the dumping of water from the Fukushima nuclear plant, that, that area there. And this is going to go on for many, many years. It's going to be tested. But the immediate reaction, first it was out of Hong Kong and Macau. Now mainland China has said no. For the moment, no Japanese imports. That's a real blow to Japan. Certainly hurts their economy in a big-time fashion. I read that in the local fish markets, uh, prices dropped 24%. Some people just going to shut down. It doesn't make any sense because their primary market happens to be China. We'll see what, what goes on. But I think what will happen initially is everybody will look. They'll look at the water. They'll go out and sample it. They'll measure it. It'll take uh, maybe two weeks, three weeks. They'll get that done, and they'll say, okay, so far we'll, we'll take off that embargo down the road and do something else. That's what I think everybody's hoping for. We'll see. This taking of the water off land in back into the ocean, this is a process that can take because they have to do it over a gradual period, decades. So that is why I'm bringing this up. It's also uh, China gets, you know, they got to go source their seafood elsewhere. This is right in their own backyard. So it benefits everybody to look, but China took the area of caution. I get it. I don't know that I'd want to eat fish out of that area right away either. How's that? I don't think I would. So... Everybody has to wait and just see. Let science prove that it is safe, and then I'll go with it. So as I look at all this, where are we? Well, 
first of all, uh, let's go to the copper market. Copper initially got a good bounce off of what I saw from the, the mortgage rules. It's given it all back, all of it. And I watched how the Chinese markets did when they, this was announced. They jumped about 2.7% on the stock exchange, and then quickly that all kept eroding. It's probably all gone by now. You can see how the metal markets don't quite know what to make out of the uh, Fed chair, what he's going to say. The dollar popped up to 104.26 and is given back and fighting at the 104 level, so that's going to be an important zone for us to watch. In the grain market, beans are getting a jump. We're looking to see if this hot weather that we had. Now, by the way, we were 100 degrees yesterday, breaking records in some areas of Chicago, matching them in others. Certainly, it matched the record at O'Hare for a August 24th. And uh, now the question is, what did it do to the soybeans? It, it rarely has an impact August 24th on corn. It'd be one thing if it was hot and dry and just staying that way. It's not the weather we've had. Bonds and notes, well, you're sitting here uh, where they're pretty stable to slightly lower, not going much of anywhere. By the way, I should say for the grain traders, I think today uh, we're going to get from the pro farmer the final results of their tour. So that uh, traders will be looking at that. Bitcoin dropped a bit, has come back since then. And in the end, I think we're going to hear from the Chinese central banker, who is also in Jackson Hole. I'd like to know what he says. But I'm more interested in what people have to say after they hear what Fed Chair Powell does. So I'll leave it at that. I will see you over the weekend as we do our weekend editions. I thank you for watching. I'm I Rapstein. I'll see you either late tonight or first thing in the morning when I record those. Take care.